stress cause arthritis or MS flare-ups. There's no proof that it does. Uh, any, any disease is worsened by anxiety, depression, and stress. So that's why you have to find people who can carefully take care of your problem so you feel more confident in what you're dealing with. If your vision gets worse and your pain doesn't go away, then you need to be further evaluated. And if you find satisfaction in returning to your ophthalmologist, then be sure and explain how you feel. If you don't find satisfaction, then you have the option, and it's best to discuss it with them, whether or not you should have another opinion. And if somebody has confidence, if a doctor has confidence in their evaluation, they should allow you to get as many opinions as you want. The question is whether headaches occur with optic neuritis and whether optic neuritis can aggravate headaches. Headaches and optic neuritis are apples and oranges. Uh, they don't occur together. The headaches have to be treated as an entirely separate entity. And there are many reasons why people have headaches and they need to be explored. Best by a neurologist. Does optic neuritis cause double vision? Optic neuritis does not cause double vision multiple sclerosis, one cause of optic neuritis can also produce double vision. But double vision has many causes, just like optic neuritis, so it's proper to evaluate all the possibilities. What happens if you have an MRI scan and it shows white spots? The white spots of MS are pretty characteristic in their configuration and location. Uh, but there are many things that can cause white spots on the surface or inside the brain. So all white spots are not MS. Just like everything else, it requires a careful look at why you have them before you conclude that it's MS. But no one should say you have white spots, therefore you have MS. That's an incorrect statement. If you have a, a problem with MS or optic neuritis that requires steroids. How long does it take your vision to come back? I've seen vision come back the day of the first treatment. Um, usually you like to see some return within the first couple of weeks. Um, but I've seen vision recovery after intravenous steroids, a month or two after treatment. And sometimes vision does not come back. There's one thing I would like to mention. There's a form of optic neuritis that occurs in both eyes simultaneously and sometimes it is accompanied by or later accompanied by symptoms of spinal cord involvement. That's referred to as the VIX disease, D-E-V-I-C-S apostrophe S, the VIX, or neuromyelitis optica. Neuro is neurologic, myelitis means inflammation to spinal cord, optica means optic nerve. And that has a more treacherous course uh, re regarding vision. Uh, and a different form of treatment. So it's important to set aside from MS. What happens if you have optic neuritis and you have an MRI scan of the brain and the spinal cord and both studies are read as normal with no spots? That has a good prognosis, but it doesn't exclude MS. There are many patients who have normal MRI scans at the onset, but they go on to develop other manifestations that make the diagnosis um, correct. One of the positive prognostic factors, prognosis meaning one of, the, one of the things that gives a good outlook for people with MS is if their initial MRI scan is normal. So it doesn't mean you don't have MS, but if you do develop MS, you have a statistically better chance of having a milder case. The question is whether vaccines cause optic neuritis on extremely rare occasions. Uh, an MS patient sh should basically have the vaccines as a normal person does, except for yellow fever. Um, and vaccine reactions on very rare occasions can cause an optic neuritis to a point that no one should be denied vaccination if it's necessary. Uh, the question is whether optic neuritis can come back and whether anybody should say, leave it alone, it'll go away by itself. Optic neuritis can be recurrent in the same eye or the other eye. Uh, there's nothing that can be done to prevent that. 
Medications for MS tend to reduce the flare-ups of MS, including optic neuritis. It's not fair to say that it will simply go away by itself. You treat each case of optic neuritis as its own problem. Uh, the question is whether there's an association between plantar fasciitis and optic neuritis, and there is no association. Fasciitis means there's an inflammation of the fascia, but it has nothing to do with the nervous system. It's purely a mechanical, just like a knee problem, or an elbow problem, or a shoulder problem. They're not due to MS. There's a question that was uh, written in that I'd like to go over because it has several parts to it. So I'm going to read one part at a time. A person called in and said they were diagnosed with optic neuritis in both eyes and they have MS. Okay, that's an established complication of MS, optic neuritis, and sometimes it occurs in both eyes. My question is, can you have a flare-up of optic neuritis and it not show up on MRI? And the answer to that requires a little bit of explanation. An MRI scan consists of examining the brain in slices, almost like slicing a loaf of bread and the optic nerves are very narrow. So if the examiner who orders the MRI is dealing with a patient with optic neuritis, they have to be certain that the slices of the MRI are extremely thin. And so they order a thin section MRI scan of the optic nerve. If the usual section is taken, a thicker slice, then you can miss lesions or MS in the optic nerve. But usually, if thin enough slices are taken, you'll see a, an area of inflammation in the affected optic nerve. Not always, but that's the way to approach it with a thin section MRI. The rest of her question, or his question, uh, they went to the emergency room with horrible pain in my head. And we said already that MS and optic neuritis do not cause headaches. They may cause eye pain, but they do not cause headaches so then something else is causing the headaches. It doesn't mean it's something serious, but you have to say it's something else. So she, this person went to the emergency room with horrible head pain and distorted and blurred vision in their left eye. That's an important symptom to evaluate to determine whether it's a recurrence of optic neuritis or some other cause of blurred vision in one eye. At the emergency room, they found signs of new lesions on my brain but didn't think it was an optic neuritis flare-up. So what this person is saying is they found active MS in the brain, but they didn't see active MS in the optic nerves, which takes us back to the first part of the question, whether or not the optic nerves were adequately imaged with thin sections. I'm extremely worried because even though I have previous damage to my eyes, this is really bad and I would like information. It is a reason for concern, uh, and it is a reason to be sure that if this is optic neuritis, that the person receives treatment, because visual loss in both eyes is already starting off behind the eight ball. Um, having more visual loss in one eye makes it even more important to be more aggressive in terms of treatment with steroids, preferably intravenous steroids or ACTH, which is an intramuscular form of steroids. But I would definitely treat this. So I, I hope we've answered this question, which really involves an explanation of things that we've spoken about uh, during the whole video, and hope uh, that if you have more questions, to contact the Optic Neuritis Foundation.